the amount of people that are losing insurance altogether is has increased dramatically. My name's Adrian Eric Ramos. I go by Eric, and I am a family physician. I am the chief medical officer at Doctors Medical Center. What what happens is people are really having to be frugal with how they use healthcare. So they're wanting to come in once a year, get all of their prescriptions for the whole year, or a mail order prescriptions, and, and looking at generic brands and, and really trying to, to cut the, their use of, uh, of healthcare. Medicine has changed quite a bit, and, and the, health, the cost of healthcare has changed so much that people are really trying to do as much as they can on their own. So I'm doing a lot more um, e-visits, electronic visits. Sometimes patients will, send, will say they have a rash, and I'll say, send me a picture, and they'll send me a picture of the rash. I can get the history from that. I look at the rash, ask some other follow-up questions, and then determine a diagnosis and a treatment without having uh, the patient uh, come into the office. A person doesn't need to come into my office and say, and for me to tell them, all your blood work looks great. It's a waste of their time, it's a waste of my time, it's a waste of resources. So we need to make sure that we save room for those people that really need to be seen, that they, they can come in and be seen that day when they need to be seen, when, they, when they're sick, instead of, well, I'm sick today, we'll see you in a week. It's interesting when you start looking at people that, the, the, that are coming in now that have lost insurance or have lost their jobs or are losing their house or, you know, the bottom's dropping out. Really, these these people are the same people that they were four months ago. You know, pride wise, they they uh, want to they want to get help. They want to they want to do the right thing. And the stigma of having to go to a clinic that is that serves the quote unquote poor is very hard for them. One of my patients has had a very successful uh, painting business. But, um, you know, they ended up having to, you know, move out of their house that they had bought um, and now are renting. Um, she had some medical problems herself and ended up having a renal failure and had a kidney transplant. So what has happened is all of the, the money that he's making really goes to pay for her medical health insurance, and he doesn't have any. So basically what I do, I, you know, I treat them for free and you know you get the medications from the pharmacy reps and call them up and say hey I've got your medicine here and you do whatever you can to, to make things work.